Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, Eric and I will head out to Connect slash Jim Creek to go test out some new recovery gear. Eric recently purchased this new anchor tool, which is news when you're in a situation where you cannot hook up your winch line to something solid, such as a tree. We're excited to go test out this new tool and see how well it works and in what condition it works. Just a heads up, it was really really windy on this day here so the next falling audio that's been shot on video is kind of windy so I do want to apologize up ahead of time. Hope you guys enjoy this video and let me know what you guys think. Black Yoda stuck out here at Jim Creek. We need some help guys we need some serious help out here he's gonna test out his new self-recovery <laughs> oh man that thing goes in good <coughs> oh man that goes in really good you think it's solid oh it's, <laughs> it's damn solid we're testing out the new uh, self recovery prime ingenious and, uh, as a self anchor when you don't have a tree or something. So Eric is not fully stuck. He's uh, he's on two wheel drive. He can still reverse out, but we're just gonna do this quick test and see what happens. Apologize for the wind noise. It's very windy out here. Nope. The incline is messing you up, I think. The incline of this hill. Cause you should well, anchor it, um, put it back in and put it this way. Shove it like towards this way. Instead of instead of straight down. Like at an angle. Go like go oh. like that way, yeah. See see if that makes a difference. That forward is far like man. Sand isn't good. Alright, so it's no good for sand. It's too soft. No good for sand. No good for sand. Here's our next test right here. Mr. Eric's gonna go down the water here and try to get his rear end stuck. It's not that deep. You gotta go deeper. <laughs> really windy. Oh, it's working. The truck is in neutral right now. This second location here was a good anchor point. The sand below here was really, really clay and really uh, moist, wet, so it provided a really good anchor for this test here. Our third location, we decided to get to another sandbar right here, and we're gonna punch it into some deep sand and see if it works on this location. Let's take a look. You can see right here that the sand is way too much soft, and with the strength of the 10,000 pound winch, it just pulls it right out of the sand. We'll go ahead and try one more time to just confirm. And you can see right here the anchor comes back out. Same location but this time here we adjusted the shackle to the second notch below and see if it makes a difference. 
and we get the same results right here. The sand right here is just way too soft and provide no good foundation for this anchor to work properly. We'll go ahead and move on to a new location and test out some new terrain and see how well this performs. Test location number two. We're gonna put the truck there. And we're gonna stab it up here, which is more dirt, more harder dirt. Less wind back here. Just do it from the Don't go too deep. You're not going to be able to put your shackle in there. Look, look you can't put it in there anymore. Use your muscles, man. Nope, coming out. Keep going, keep going. It might work. Nope. It's too soft right here. Too soft. Round two, we put it at an angle, a slight angle. <coughs> uh oh. <coughs> Still not working. No! No good. <laughs> Test three. Nope. Damn. Jeez. All right, we have bad terrain. Mess. We're testing on the worst terrain ever. Yeah, this is all dry stuff. Another abandoned vehicle out here at Jim Creek. Looks like this van here has been shot up. Do napkins. <coughs> Radio is gone. The keys, the ignition looks there, so. Damn, they really destroyed this thing. Some good tires. <coughs> hey, you want to haul it out? Eric, you want to haul it out? No. You want to haul it to a parking lot? This must have happened after uh, the weekend because they did a they did a cleanup last weekend. Look at these gunshots. These are probably shotguns right here. All tires are still has air. Let's take a look at the VIN number. What's the VIN number here? No, just, oh yeah, it's true, I forgot. <coughs> There's no door tags. <coughs> so what is it, March 20th? Lots of glass, dude. Oh, damn, they really did. This must be, has to be stolen, man. People come out here and destroy the trails. Look at that. <coughs> this must be pretty fresh out here. Here's the VIN number right there, guys. One. Oh, that's true. I don't know. Oh, like I said, somebody has to steer anyways. We can't really steer. The steering will lock up if we don't have the keys anyways. So, well, oh, oh never mind. It's uh, the steering is open no more. Well, you gotta. I don't know. Nah. Ah, uh, let's not mess with it. Here's our next test right here. We're gonna test it 
the anchor is in this new terrain we're mostly testing the terrain type and seeing which terrain is going to work best so for sure we know sand doesn't work <coughs> and uh, right now we have it in some nice dirt Huh? Yeah, it's working. <coughs> yep. It's solid. Yeah, man, it's solid. Oh yeah, the soil plays a big factor. Yeah, the dirt plays a big factor. Well there you have it guys, our first test of this new anchor point. We know for sure that it doesn't perform well in the sand. It did perform pretty good in the dirt that we tested in our last video here. We're going to do more testing on this new anchor on our next trip. But in this trip here, this is just a quick trip. And again, it's not realistic because the truck wasn't really stuck. It was just mostly in neutral. Let us know in the comment section what do you guys think. Will this work in a real life case scenario stuck scenario and let me know if you guys have any tips if you guys have used this tool before i'll see you guys next time have a great day